guys, we're back out here with another Two Perspectives, and today we're going to talk about disc selection. We want to make sure you have what you need in your bag to cover every shot you need on the course. From my perspective? And my perspective. When it comes to disc selection, um, I always like to teach to be aware of the power that you have. So something um, as you work on your game or as you're getting better, your arm speed might change and you might start flipping things over. So just be aware um, and try new discs that might be more stable for you because um, maybe you have the power for them now and you might be able to get some more distance. Um, another thing is don't be afraid of overstable discs. Um, they can be extremely useful and we call them utility discs. I've got a justice that it's only going to go up and dump left. I'm right hand, right hand backhand. So no matter what I do with this disc, it's going to go up and it's going to go down. And that's super useful. Um, but with a lower arm speed, you might think that you might not need a disc like that. But it really does come in handy if there's wind or if there's trees to get around and you just want that one specific shot. Having some discs in your bag that are really specific to shots like that is totally okay. Um, I also have a Defender in my bag that's very overstable for me. And I use it when it's windy, I use it when I need to have a reliable hyzer back in bounds, or um, any shot that I know it's going to just go up and it's going to dump left. So, um, And then just choosing the disc that's going to be the easiest shot. Um, I might throw something understable uphill instead of overstable. Um, or I might choose a fairway driver for a short shot because I know it's going to get there versus a mid-range because maybe it's outside my range. So I don't want to come up short. Um, so deciding on the disc that's going to for sure get you to the basket versus leave you short. Um, just being aware of those types of decisions when you're building your bag and also when you're out on the course. All right guys, so what I like to think about when I'm building my bag and I'm choosing the right disc to have, obviously I, I like to take into account the course. So what type of shots am I gonna have to throw? So that comes with having good practice and making sure you understand what you might have to throw. If you don't have the time to practice, so then you just need to be build the most well-rounded bag possible. So. Some things I like to think about, finding discs that are workable. So discs that you can throw for multiple shots, like the Enforcer handles a lot of different shots. I like it for hyzers, flex shots, side arms. It does a lot for me. So this is a great disc to give me a lot of shots. Um, finding stuff that's uh, reliable and that you can trust and you can use for those different shots, like the Felon. This is a disc that I use for a lot of side arms, spike hyzers, scoobies, get out of trouble, forehand rollers just about everything. So one of the biggest things that uh, I see as a problem is everybody's body is different. So you shouldn't be molding your bag off of another player because you're a different player. So you need to go out and give each disc a real chance to be good and allowing it to be comfortable because maybe what I throw might not be good for you, but you might throw something different but for the same exact type of shot. So make sure you go out, put the time in the field and get good practice. Um, last thing I wanna talk about is using those workable discs similar to the Felon or even the Convict is a good one I like to talk about. And with the Convict, this is a flippier disc for me, but I love it for sidearms and it helps me and by that disc selection, it normally wouldn't be thrown for a sidearm, but it allows me to execute different shots by letting it flip up and I can throw it a lot smoother making sure I hit my line. Thanks for watching. Go follow Whale Pants on Facebook.